Football coach and substitute teacher at Haines City High School is sitting behind bars tonight on a long list of charges all related to drugs. Our Alex Hobson joins us live from the Polk County Jail tonight with the details. Alex? I was out at the high school earlier tonight talking with parents and students clearly upset by this news. We're talking a man with full access to kids busted for not only drug possession, but drug trafficking too. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah. I didn't expect that. <laughs> like many students at Haines City High, Jasmine Rivera's daughter Janelle's new assistant football coach, Chad Alexander. Rivera had him as a substitute teacher twice, including once just a couple of days ago. I was shocked because, I mean, it's a football coach. Why, you know, you shouldn't get involved in a school district if you're doing that. Alexander was just arrested on a long list of drug charges. Detectives with the Polk County Sheriff's Office say they saw Alexander with two other men, Paul Burr and Michael Gray, last night at a gas station in Lake Wales, smoking what appeared to be marijuana. But when detectives conducted a traffic stop, they found much more than that. Inside Alexander's car, detectives discovered 43 Xanax pills, more than 14 grams of methamphetamine, a quarter pound of marijuana, and a scale. It wasn't a user's amount. They were selling drugs or preparing to sell drugs or certainly had a quantity of a street level dope dealer. Not the type of person this parent or this sheriff wants to see anywhere near school grounds again. The only thing he'll do now is sit in the county jail, drink water, and won't be a football coach or a substitute teacher. And the school district is backing that up. They tell us while this remains under investigation, Alexander's name has been removed from the district's list of approved substitute teachers. Reporting live in Polk County tonight, Alex Hobson, ABC Action News. Thank you, Alex.